Welcome to Wellness Month, and today we're here with P. What are we doing? What's up, guys? So, uh, I'm Steve Pastorino, they call me P. I'm the creator of PVOV, and today we're gonna start this three day workout series uh, with a glute workout. So, the most important thing is to get your butt activated, get it fired up, and then from there we can work abs, inner thighs, go after what, whatever we need to do. But this is the center of the body, so we're gonna start here. And you ready? Let's warm up. For today's workout, you can use it. We're going to use a set of gliders. If you don't have gliders at home, you can always use towels or you can just put a sock on and hit a hardwood floor. But the most important thing is form. So let's get into it. First, thing we're going to do is something I call a step back. And you're going to go into this little squat position. And I like to shift back a little bit. You're going to take your left leg, step back, and you want to lock your leg up and the heel is all the way up in the, up in the air. This is one of the most important things. So you're going to flex the big toe. You're going to feel this left butt engage and come back in and then just do a little sit. So let's start nice and slow, get the muscles active, get the form right, little step. I do about six to eight reps each exercise. We'll do five more, a little step and squeeze. That's five, I'll let you girls take it away. Good, four, and you just wanna put the ball of the foot into the ground, feel that glute engage, let's do one more. And we're gonna stop right here. So from here, we can lean forward a little bit. You should feel your right glute turn on. And what we're gonna do with the left side is just in a little, out a little. And you wanna keep your heel up, put the weight into the ball of the foot, let your glutes engage. Here we go, we'll go six. And for everyone at home, I'm calling our right as the left, just cause we're mirroring you. Makes it easier for everybody at home. That's it, keep your leg nice and long. This is also great for opening the hip, stretching the quads. Let's do two more, two. That's it, the last one, take it to the inside. Take your left leg back to the center. So about six o'clock, you're gonna put your hands up overhead and you're gonna squeeze. You're gonna open your hips, frame out your left knee, lift up off your right butt, and then come down and then squeeze the right side. Three, two, and one. Lift up, breathe out, and try to hold at the top. Get your left hip nice and high, squeeze that knee up, hold, squeeze. And you should feel this all on the right side and you're using your right glute to take you back and then take you up and forward. Let's go four, make sure you're breathing in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. As my friend Jason likes to say. Two more, two, catch, last one. Perfect, other side, here we go. Three, get in your stance. I call this like the quarterback stance because you're dropping your butt back, you're loading your glutes. Sometimes I put my hands out. Three, two, one, right leg steps back, <sighs> little squeeze, bring it in. Seven, sit, six, five, and in, four, three, last two, good. And make sure you guys at home, keep your knee back, hold it right there, lean forward a little bit, left leg stays back, a little step to the inside, a little step to the outside. So, little tap in, little tap out, and the whole time you're doing this, you're keeping this glute engaged, you're keeping your leg locked out, and you're just moving in different angles, working the outer glute, inner glute. Keep that knee locked out right there. Good. Four and out. Last three. Catch. Good. Keep your arms up, shoulders back. Last two. The last one inside. Let's center this off. Arms go up. You're going to drive right to the left butt. Squeeze, open your hips, <sighs> breathe out and hold. Take it down, that's eight. <sighs> Lift up and hold, <sighs> seven. And what's happening here is you're getting an external rotation of the pelvis, you're getting an adduction of this left hip, and what you're hitting is the inner part of the glute. It's a hard place to reach, but if you get these angulations right, get this hip nice and higher. Drive your knee a little bit higher, up more, up more, good. And you're driving from the left side, <sighs> two more. Two, little squeeze up, one, and rest. Good, let's swap the legs. Good job. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yeah, the more you can get your pelvis to, to move in the frontal plane, transverse plane, and the sagittal plane, the more the muscles are gonna turn on. So we wanna add as many planes of motion as possible in one exercise. Let's start with the left leg back. So just remember, I'll show you guys from the side. When you're here, try to keep your knee neutral. That's gonna keep the glute loaded versus the thigh and the hamstring, so stay back. And for this one, you know how to do this. Lean forward, lighten up this back foot, go on the ball, or get on your toe, 
and just do a little butt lift. Just a little squeeze back right there. Let it down slow. You guys got it. And don't expect your leg to go too high. You wanna focus everything right here on the glutes. Keep pushing this knee back. Put the weight down in the heel. Little squeezes, good. Just reach back for my hand. Little catch, hold. Let it down, let's do three more. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Two more. Catch and hold, two. This last one, you're gonna leave it up right here. Bend your knee, bring it in 90 degrees, stop right there, and then squeeze out and hold. You got it. Good. Try to, and again, everyone at home, try to keep this knee back. There you go. And try to use more of the glute than the thigh and the hamstring. Get a little bit higher, big stretch, squeeze. Sana and I have done this a thousand times, so you know this one perfectly. Let's go, two more. Make sure you're breathing in and out. You should also feel the abs on the left side engaging. Last one, little squeeze, switch sides. Great job. <laughs> this is great stuff. These things really just turn these muscles on, get them pumped up. Let's hit the other side. So remember, lean forward, focus on your left knee staying back, go on the toe, and then very small. A little squeeze up and hold, <sighs> tap. A little squeeze up and hold. Breathe, six, let it down slow. And again, don't expect it to go, to go very high. Just keep everything else in your body fixed in place. Don't let your pelvis tilt at all. Just a little squeeze up. We'll go three more, three, last two. The last one, hold it up, pull this knee in. And even as your knee is coming in, you could sit back deeper into the left butt and then stretch. Let's go eight, little hold, seven, little hold, six, five, four, a lot of balance involved. Keep your breath going, three, focus on your posture, two, the last one, little squeeze, Whew, I had to bail out of that one. So we could, we could slow it down, we can choose the angles, we can choose our planes of motion, and we can pinpoint each part of the muscle. So let's do that, let's target different areas. Let's go after the outer side, let's take the left leg back, and let's start with a little stepping pattern. We're gonna go into a staggered stance, and when you do this, again, you wanna have your knee back, the left foot's for balance, they're gonna sit back, perfect. And from here, we're gonna step out on a diagonal, Engage the left glute, turn the hips, bring it back in, and then you can sit nice and low. Three, two, and one. Step it out, stretch. Let's go six. And always remember, this is the most important thing, is to land on the ball of your foot. So try to get that heel all the way up. Lengthen the leg, squeeze. Let's do three more. It's about 80-20, so most of the weight is in that right side, and then Squeeze, lock out the other. Let's do one more. Good, now, from here, lean forward a little bit. I call this a reach. You're gonna step back a little bit further and then squeeze up a little bit. Little step back, up a little. But you never let go of the tension in the glutes. You're keeping those engaged. Make sure that right leg, or your left leg stays locked out. Good, and just turn the heel out just a little bit more. Right there, that's it, five. Good, four, perfect. So you're working the glutes, but you're also getting a big stretch on the outer thigh. Let's go, two. Last one. <laughs> That's it. Rest, good job. That was perfect, great job. So the focus is on the glutes, but again, you should feel all kinds of things. There's you know, your calves, your ankles, your thighs, everything's working for balance. We're creating uh, length in the outer thigh because of the rotation. So let's give that leg a rest. Let's switch sides. Here we go. And always you know, get nice and low right here. This is like a wide receiver position. Here, three, two, and one. Big step out, squeeze, come in, press off the left side, and catch, yeah, and breathe. You know, put some power into it. It's a controlled movement, but you really wanna really put your breath, squeeze through the motion, catch on the ball of the foot. This is perfect. Four more, four, good. Going for that outside angle, three, right towards my hand. There it is, two, good. And lock the leg out, let's hold it right there. So, the thigh is engaged, you're lengthening the muscles, use the left side, take this foot out a little, up a little, so it's a little reach and you're just lifting your leg up, coming back on an angle, up a little. It's like a little scoop. And the whole time, the glutes have to stay engaged. 
This is perfect. You guys got it. I can see Sammy's legs shaking. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Because you're not letting go of the tension. You're staying engaged in the exercise the entire time. You guys got two more. You got it. Two more. Right there. Two. Good. Last one. Little catch. Great job. Rest. That's perfect. Well done. I'm sweating just watching you. All right. So we're going to build on top of that. Let's go back to this left side. And this is something we already did. We did it on the six o'clock angle. You're gonna lean forward and we'll do a little butt lift. So just remember at home, don't kick your leg up. Try to keep your knee locked out, lean over your hip and just little squeezes, just up a little, down a little. And you're just lifting from the outer glute. Three, two, and one. A little lift up, let it down slow and tap. Nice and controlled. Again, time it with your breath, little squeeze. Good, try to keep the hip square. There you go. And it's okay, it doesn't have to go very high. Just maintain the angles, maintain the heel turned out. Keep that tension on the thigh and you'll work your inner outer thigh. Great job. You guys got three more at home, just stay with it. Remember, stay within your range of motion. Two, and then the last one, I'm gonna ask you to hold right there and then just pull that knee straight in towards me and then press out, not too far. There you go, so actually like right there. Little tap and then stretch. Perfect. Sammy, you got it. Good. Keep those hips turned down. Good. Keep that tension all down. There. Yeah, there you go. Down the outside. Breathe. Good. Just put your brain right in those muscles and press. You got it. Two more. That's it. Last one. A little press. Great job. Good. Give yourself a rest. Well done. So these are all great activator muscles, so you should really start to feel everything. You got one more angle. I usually do middle outside and then we'll go to the inside angle. So same thing, let's rip through these, here we go. We're gonna speed it up now. So sit, you wanna cross over just a little bit, just a tiny bit, you wanna feel the inner glute engage, little step in. And sometimes I pump my arms like this, like I'm running, <sighs> little squeeze. Let's go six, <sighs> five, <sighs> four, press, three, <sighs> two, <sighs> one. Let's leave this leg back. Lean forward and just little lifts. Three, two, and one. Little squeeze. One and one. This is a smaller range of motion. Two, two, three, three. Just squeezing from the inner glute. Four. You got four more. Four. Good. Remember, don't go too high. Just little squeeze and hold. Try to hold it at the top. Three. Good. Keep pushing that knee back. You got it. Two. Last one. Good. Let's switch sides. Here we go. Come on, you guys got this. Here we go. So this one, if you got the staggered stance, you're loading this left butt, getting nice and low, weight in the heel. Three, two, and one. Little squeeze across, hold, bring it in. Seven, six, keep getting down low. Five, that's it, four. Squeeze down low, three, last two. The last one, hold. Get off the ball of your foot, and just tap on the toe. Little lifts in three, two, and one. Squeeze, eight. Remember, try to hold at the top, seven. Tap, six, you got it, five. Good, just turned in a little bit, four. It's a little crossover, hold on. Bring it like right there, right there, sorry. Two more, good, and don't cross too much, like right there. Last one, good, switch sides. Now we're gonna take that left leg back. We're gonna build on that, on that block. Take your left leg up, point your toe up to the sky, bend your knee 90 degrees, little squeeze up, drive the knee down. So I'm trying to keep my hips square, flare the knee out, little squeeze, and then bring it down. Point your toe, good, you got it. And make sure you're on the inside angle. So flare your knee out just like that, and then push up that way. You got it, you got it. Guys, keep going. Hundred percent. I always use a wall next to me, and I, 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 you can just hold. Let's do two more. Two. Last one. Little squeeze. Let's switch sides. But great point. If you know, if it's your first time doing it and your balance is a little off, you know, yeah, you can use a chair. I like to do it up against the wall and just kind of lightly touch. All right, here we go. So get low. So what's happening is you're not turning your hips, you're just flaring your knee out a little bit, dropping back in the left butt. Three, two, and one, little squeeze. Eight, down low, seven. 
and you're just working the inner part of your glute. Six, down slow, five, four. You should feel both sides working equally. Three, that's it. Good, make sure this foot is crossing this way. Yes, you're crossing to the inside. Everyone get one more. Little squeeze up and hold. Let it down slow and rest. Good job. All right, grab the gliders. We only need one and we'll get into it a little bit deeper and we'll finish this off. So, how you guys feel? You're doing a great job. It's, it's perfect. All right, so you should already be feeling this now. Got all the proprioceptors going, all the nerves, the nervous system's active. Let's start here and we can build on top of what we've been doing. So now we have the glider, so we have a little bit more of an unstable surface. But what you're gonna do is drop back, just same position, little staggered stance, and just squeeze back and hold. <sighs> Bring it in nice and slow. Let's show them from the side, what do you think? Let's turn it sideways. So heel up, get nice and low. <sighs> Press out, squeeze, and then pull it in. Good, let's do six more reps. Straight back at six o'clock, leaning forward, you guys got it. Good, five. It feels good to drive the arms, you'll feel your abs working, especially on the way in. Good, let's go four more. That's it, I'll do these last three with you. Three, pull it in slow, big stretch out, two. The last one, let's hold it right here. So, just come up a little bit, keep both glutes engaged, and just go out like two inches, up two inches. Out a little, seven. Keep most of the weight in the right side. Six. So your standing leg is where you're pushing from and pulling from. Five. Little squeeze up, four. Three. Out a little, two. Out a little, one. Switch sides, same thing. Just north and south, going to six o'clock. Put most of that weight in the standing leg. Here we go. So remember, get down in your stance. Three, two, and one. Drive that foot straight back, squeeze, and pull it in. Seven, six, and make sure at home, when you come back, really get a good squeeze and hold. Four more. You give your muscles like that little quarter to a half second, the brain and the muscle will connect, and you'll feel those muscles turn on. Let's do the last one. Stop right there. Now just tune into that front leg and just take it out like two inches and then little squeeze up. Out a little, stop and squeeze. And what you're doing is you're using that front leg, that front glute to slowly let you out, catch and pull you back in. Four, up a little, good. Three, looks good. Try to keep this knee back. I know it's hard with those long legs, but you could do it. Two, last one, rest, switch the legs. Great job. Catch your breath. All right, and we're just gonna kind of build on what we've been doing so we won't get too fancy. Left leg goes back. And on this one, I want you to get off the ball of your foot and I just want you to touch on the top of your shoe, on your toes. So keep that back leg locked, or uh, light and locked. Lean forward over the front, keep the knee neutral, and you're just gonna squeeze in. And you're only gonna pass your foot by like a half inch, if that, and then take it back out. Keep your arms up, squeeze in, squeeze out. You're initiating the motion from the glutes and the hips. If you keep your arms up, you'll feel the lower abs work on the left side. Let's go five, take it back out, squeeze in, four. Good, try to keep your heels straight up and down. Try to maintain the depth, straight in, back out. It's a small motion, two more, two, the last one. Good, bring it back to six o'clock. Put the ball of the foot on the, on the glider. Pull this knee in. Now we're gonna do an open press. This one's gonna hit everything on the inside. You're actually gonna hit a lot of inner thigh on this, but your focus is the standing glute on the inside. And look just like this. You're gonna open, go right on the ball of your foot. Your feet go perpendicular, heel all the way up in the air. <sighs> Pull it back down. I want you to sit nice and low and then explode out. Open up, <sighs> pull down, eight, open up and keep that back heel nice and high. And remember, perpendicular, I'll help you out here. Push back, you wanna be right there. Let that toe flex, good, roll it in. Pelvis opens, and then close down, good. Open up, try to keep the knee back. Let's go, two more. Knee back right there, weight in the heel. This is the last one. Explode open, 
Come down low, rust. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Every little tweak is going to affect your, your body differently. There's, there's so many muscles that are in your thighs and in your, in your groin, your lower abs, your pelvic floor, your butt. There's also parts of the muscle that will turn on and off in different angulations and just using different equipment. So it's really important to focus on the details, slow it down. That was great. Woo, here we go. So everything is just facing straight, square it off. Keep your back foot light, so yeah, off the ball of the foot, just touch on the toes, and just small, little squeeze in, little squeeze out. On the way in, you should feel the inner glute. On the way out, you should feel it on the outside. So just squeezing across, taking it out, isolating that back leg, that back glute, and just take your time, keep that foot light. We'll do three more. That's it, out a little. Try to eliminate all momentum, just in a little, out a little. There you go. Let's get one more. Good. Let's take it in. Take it out. Now, put the weight back into the ball of your foot. That means your big toe is fully flexing. And the way I like to do these, like we did, get nice and low, so you load, and then kind of push up and out. <sighs> Breathe out, and then squeeze. Open out. <sighs> get nice and low, and load. Let's go five more, five. You're gonna feel some inner thighs, but make sure your glutes are, are taking you through the motion. Three more, three, last two, open. The last one, load, take it out and rest. Switch the legs, this is the last exercise. <laughs> yeah, great job. And just at home, you know, if you have to pause the video just to figure out the form, make sure you do that. It's the most important thing. Everything feels different once you get the, the joints in the right position. So, one last one. We're gonna get nice and low again. Heel up. Remember, ball of the foot is pushing down into the glider, so you have weight there. We're gonna go outside. You'll feel everything up the inside. Bring it in nice and tight. <sighs> Little crossover. So again, working the in inner glute, outer glute, and you can drive your arms like you're running. <sighs> Breathe in. Let's go six. Bring it in. Five, lock that leg out. Four, three, two, one. Let's end with this on the outside. So right now our hips are square. We're just gonna turn down like this. So we're gonna get an internal rotation of the hip. Turn the heel out, a little press out, a little scoop up. Same motion we did with that reach, but now we have the glider. Out a little, in a little. Seven, six, all the motions being driven from the right side, right in here. Five, out a little, four, three. Make sure you're flexing forward as you push. Two, flex forward, one, rest. Whew. Now my legs are shaking. All right, last exercise, let's go for it. Here we go, so check in, get your setup right. Outside angle. Inside angle, three, two, and one. Outside, eight, bring it in, seven, just driving through the right side, six, five, make sure you're breathing, engaging your abs, four, make sure you maintain this pace, three, two, one, let's end with it on the outside. So now we're square, let's rotate down and turn the seal out a little bit, you wanna be about right there. Now, just lean forward, slide the leg back a little bit, and then scoop up. There you go. And you don't want to put too much weight on the back foot. You're about 70-30 right here. So I'm going to adjust you a little bit. I want you to be like right there. When you look down, you want your toes to line up with that heel. You got it. Nice and slow. Go for your end range of motion. Two more. Stop right there. Two. Keep this foot facing straight. Last one. And rest. Good job. Yeah. Double hand. <laughs> All right, great job. So take time to stretch. Go through this workout. This is something you can do most days of the week to keep your glutes active. Uh, great job. If you have any questions, obviously hit us up. And uh, I'll see you at the next workout. We're going to hit inner thighs. Great job.